you've probably heard that one of those vaccines, and there are more than one, there are several that are moving along at various paces. One of them will enter phase three study in July. This is one that has already shown in preliminary studies some very favorable response in the animal models that were developed. There will be others that will follow one month, two months, three months later. Although you can never guarantee at all the safety and efficacy of a vaccine until you actually test it in the field, we feel cautiously optimistic based on the concerted effort and the fact that we are taking financial risks, not risks to safety, not risks to the integrity of the science, but financial risks to be able to be ahead of the game so that when, and I believe it will be when and not if, we get favorable candidates with good results, we will be able to make them available to the American public, as I said to this committee months ago, within a year from when we started, which would put us at the end of this calendar year and the beginning of 2021. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And we just watched that clip um, that, um, basically that speech, all right, that of uh, Dr. Fauci, which is um, pretty much uh, Donald Trump's uh, health advisor. And, you know, he made that statement of saying that this vaccine is going to, um, you know, be introduced to the public. It's not um, if it's going to be introduced, it's really when. And how he said it's going to be introduced roughly at the end of this year of 2020. Or if not the end of the 2020, it's going to be um, the year 2021. Okay. And pretty much this is the prelude to the, um, the RFID microchip. You see, because they're going to say that pretty much if you don't have this vaccination, at some point they're going to say this, if you don't have this vaccination, you can't go to work or your children can't go to school, okay? And then the thing is, see, Esau is the devil. What he's going to say is, and what he'll do is, he'll say, yeah, it's an option to get it, but if you don't get it, you still can't function in my society, basically. Yeah. And then what they'll say is, you know, especially to you... Um, uh, to you brothers and sisters out there or even just to the rest of these people in the world if your children do not get this vaccine that you're um endangering your child all right they're going to use them as a pawn to get to you all right and that's why we are have been saying that because we we know a lot of people they aren't um they're not down with this uh with this whole uh, situation at hand they're not you know accepting you know, uh, you know this whole COVID nineteen situation, these uh, uh, vaccines, and that's why we keep saying that there's going to be a civil war at some point. Yeah, you got you know? uh, people walking around, uh, citizens walking around. I'll say, uh, judging other citizens for not wearing masks uh, or wearing them. Yeah, yeah, or wearing them. It's, it's vice versa, man. It's that clash, and uh, you know, it's supposed to be the so-called United States, but. You, you're finding more and more the more things uh, are, are the more the society goes on you find that uh, people are more um divided in this country than anything man all right and, and that chip is going to be a it's going to be a major issue for a lot of people man because you know you got a lot of people that aren't too they, 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 they're waking up that they're waking up out of that sheeple mentality because um see if i can get it it talks about uh the the, the veil being destroyed man okay isaiah Twenty five. Is it twenty nine? No, it's twenty five and seven. Okay, come. So lock, you give me one second, I can say the man. Was it twenty five and seven? Yeah, come, come. Alright, I got it. And it says and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations man that veil of deception man. that's right you know a lot of people are waking up to what's re really going on and that's another reason why they want to shut down the internet too because there's too much information being spread 
See, this man, you know, he can't, you know, uh, lie and cover up his tracks anymore. When he does something, you already have people immediately on it. And the majority of the time, it's actually his own people. You know, that goes into, what is that, that Psalm 64 and 8? Their own tongue shall fall upon themselves, you know? So, uh, you know, they, a lot of people are just, you know, they're, they're, they're seeing what the... Um, they're seeing what the society is really about, what the uh, the elites really want to do, and they're not having it. But uh, did you want that wisdom of Solomon? Because that was a good scripture that you yeah, yeah, mentioned. Kinda, uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter four, verse twelve. Yeah, this is wisdom of Solomon four and twelve. I'm gonna read it for you. Ak. It says, "For the be for the bewitching of naughtiness doeth obscure things that are honest." That's right. It says, uh, "The bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, man." What, what, what is an honest person, you know? It's talking about somebody that's naive, that's simple, you know, that's just trying to live their day-to-day -day life the, uh, the proper way for their family, or, or so to speak, or just, you know, just trying to um, just go about their fucking day and not get into no bullshit. Well, I don't want to catch this disease, but they say if I just put this mask on, I'll be good. So, I mean, it's crazy out here, so I'm put this mask on. Damn, the mask ain't good enough? You got a social distance? Well, shit, it's just a little bit. I'll do this. Steady complying, complying, until the next thing you know, you didn't, you didn't comply yourself into destruction by fucking listening to this devil, man. Yeah. You know, by being sincere to a devil. Yep. That's why that Revelation 13, which we're going to get in a, in a little bit, if you can get that from Yach, because it's going to go into how um, he, he calls it, you know, um, basically all to get that mark, right? And we're going to get that word calls it in that scripture because it's very heavy. Because, um, the brother and I were talking pretty much and this man, he pretty much forces you to make decisions that you don't even want to do, mm -hmm. you know? But I'm gonna keep reading, it says, and the wandering of concupiscence doeth undermine the simple mind. Okay, and uh, we're gonna get that Revelation 13 and was it 16? And, and that word concupiscence, you know, uh, for brothers who don't know, uh, it's, it's talking about your desires. Because uh, Esau can still he'll, uh, throw desires in your face, too. And what would those desires be? Well, you want to function in society, buy food, get you some clothes, uh, shit, buy this, buy that. Well, you know, just take this, man. You'll be able to do it. You know, just take this little, take this vaccination, take this chip, yep. anything, just to get you to do it, man. Yep, and that's why we're saying this is just all the prelude. These vaccina vaccinations are just a prelude to the chip. Because even right now, like, just, and there's certain, like, um, I was um, up north, and um, I ended up um, bypassing a particular salon. And in order to get into that salon, these people had to actually uh, have their temperatures taken. Like the, the lady, when she walked up to the door, the, the uh, stylist came out. You know, he had his gloves on, mask on, and he had the, the uh, th uh, thermometer, and he scanned her forehead. And that's showing you, too, that they're getting these people, you know, are ready for that chip because that chip it either goes where in your forehead or your or your hand you know it's getting everyone conditioned but there it's just showing you that uh, you, you have to do you have to comply man in order to get things done and he's forcing you to do these things you know and hey, can you uh read that for me uh, this is uh revelation chapter 13 verse 16 it says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead so yeah stop right there can you get the word cause it mm -hmm. all right should be the first one Yeah, and then when you go down to one of the definitions, it uh, it should stop like right here. It says um, to form, produce, construct. Okay, um, to fashion. All right. So this man is literally constructing, forming these um this situation. All right. He he. Yep. Order out of chaos. He's making you go down this particular path, so to speak. You know. You you like you know in a sense. There's maybe like four paths, but all those paths go down. They'll all uh, link up to go down to uh, one road. All right, and that's what's happening, you know. And we see it. And he thinks he and he uh, uses entertainers as well to come into the truth, because uh, you got a lot of those guys coming to the truth, so called, uh, to even persuade most of you niggas, man. He he has a uh, you know uh, 
so-called Israelite teachers uh, that, that are under 501c3 charters are going to persuade you to take that chip as well, you know, because that's the reason why they've been saying that the RFID is not the microchip. Pastors as well, man. And yeah. most of those pastors today, uh, they, they, they're telling most of their congregation that they're trying to keep it there, Israelites. But you know what the big difference is? They're still going to persuade you to take that fucking chip because they, they know that you're waking up. So they're trying to lull you back to sleep or uh, make you feel like you're going in the right direction. But ultimately, they're leading you to the destruction the Lord ultimately set up for you if you be a two-third. And then the brother set the teachers up to tell you that's not the way. That's right. And it says he calls it all both small and great, whether you be of... Um uh, you know, a youngin, you know, a newborn, or whether you be old, all right, whether you be rich or poor, free or bond, you know, whether you be in jail or walking freely, to receive a mark, and that uh, that word mark is karagma in the Greek, all right, and that goes into a cutting or an incision of the, you know, uh, of the flesh, man, all right. In order to get this chip, you have to cut your flesh open, and you know, in order for them to insert the, you know, insert that chip, you have to cut the skin open. Okay, it says in the right hand or in their foreheads, and then no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark. And that's how we know it's the chip too, because look, because some people will say, well, it's just you know, uh, I guess you could say um, an identification chip, you know, a um, you know, a, a tracking device. It's got your medical records. It's got all that, and you know what? It's going to be your new form of currency yeah. because you have already, you know, in certain places where the people who have the chip. They're able to pay. That's why what they're doing right now, they're introducing, a, uh, uh, or they're f um, pushing what? You know, uh, your, your, your cashless society. But what they're really pushing, it's not even so much debit cards anymore. They want you to uh, use your um, your uh, iPhone or your Android, Apple Pay, Google Pay, okay? That's why they're pushing that hard. And a lot of people are doing it, man. They just swipe their phone and then everything, you know, everything goes through. And if you do have a card, one thing they're starting to push now is the tap. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're starting to push the tap because a lot of cards, the new the new cards come with the tap. It'll, it'll show you uh, before they start pushing it. I noticed it uh, when I received the card uh, before, and uh, like the brother was saying, I had I had got with a bank uh, shit last year. I got with a bank. I got with a uh, Bank of America. Ended up leaving that bullshit, but they didn't. They never sent my card. The first thing they then they kept on saying that they was gonna send it. I tried to go even get a temporary card. It's like, oh yeah, we don't do that no more. Uh, cool. But they was they never sent my card, and they kept on the first thing that the lady introduced to me was a uh, Zelle. She kept on trying to introduce like uh, different types of electronic payments. Yep. It's like what the fuck? I don't want to do this. But you know what? The reason why these banks and these uh these these different types of um uh, uh facilities are setting things up like that is to like the brother says to introduce you to the chip to get you more familiar with that. That's right. And I'm going to just finish off. And then no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of the name. All right. And, um, you know, pretty much, yeah, the, you know, the, we see what's, you know, coming down the pipeline. It's going to get more and more serious out here as time keeps uh, going by. We know that, you know, there's job losses that are coming. More job losses. They're going to start cutting off this unemployment. All right, you know, uh, you got famines, you know, uh, that are approaching. All sorts of things are hidden. You got the, you know, this situation with, you know, these vaccines. It's COVID. Because they keep talking about how there's going to be a second wave very soon. Yeah. And that's coming. Look, that second wave is going to hit. And the, what, what's going to come after it? The vaccines. And those vaccines are actually probably going to make you more sick. They might even have the, the um, hold on real quick. Nothing going on, man. Just to make noise, man. But, um, you know, a lot of those, uh, we believe, you know, that the vaccine may even have the disease in it. And they were even saying this, and this, you can find this uh, uh, online. Just check it out. Google it. They're saying that some of those vaccines, this is optional. This is what they say right now. It's optional that it'll have an RFID microchip in it. You know? So... And this stuff is coming, man. So, you know, you just, you know, stay prayed up. Have the faith in you. How about Shimei al Shai? And, you know, eventually, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get out of here. Hey, look, the elect is going to win no matter what. Because right. you about Shimei al Shai is on our side. Lord's about to create uh, miracles, major miracles. And then the world's going to see it. You know? You got anything else, Al? No, no, no. 
you know, you know, hopefully this was edifying. We just wanted to do a quick lesson, show you, you know, you know what's coming down the pipeline. And, uh, and with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak Wadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.